This video looks at the quarterfinal and semi-final matches involving Natsumi Tsunoda. Started off with a bit of a whack to the face, basically a lariat or a clothesline from Asunta Scuto of Italy. And Natsumi Tsunoda was able to get her revenge later in this match with the Juji Gatame following up on a fantastic Tomoanage. Just the sort of thing you'd expect from Natsumi Tsunoda. And I think it was actually the same opponent she defeated by Juji Gatame in last year's quarterfinal. So in the semi-final, she was up against Pont. Pont was really the form player in international Grand Slams this year. She's had huge amount of success, probably won three tournaments in a row with no losses. She's a Newaza specialist, but didn't really show much when it came to Newaza here. So I guess we can call Natsumi Tsunoda the queen of the Newaza specialists when it comes to 48 kilos. So Tsunoda's already on the board with that Tomo Anage and She's looking for that Juji Gatame, and I'm pretty impressed with the refereeing so far today. The refereeing are giving the girls plenty of time to pursue things in Newaza. As long as they're working, the referees are letting them go. And the Judokas themselves have been going out and getting results. They haven't been leaving things to the referees. I've only seen maybe one or two matches go to Shido's. And Natsumi Tsunoda wasn't content with winning by the Wazaari. Juji Gatame, still her main option, and it just wasn't working. So with less than 30 seconds on the clock, what was she gonna do to come up with the Yippon? It's able to get behind her opponent as she moves in for the over the back grip. This is a similar tactic, we'll probably see her try against uh, Boakley in the final. Ended up in a choke here. If you've seen her previous match with Boakley, she did a similar technique to avoid the overhand grip that Boakley has used effectively. Boakley beat Wakana Koga, really troubled her with that over the back sumigaishi grip. 